But today we're going to do a walk around video of the M1101 Humvee trailer uh, behind me. Let's go. So we're going to start over here in the front. The first, one of the uh, modifications that we did to this trailer is putting a lock and roll hitch over here. So this is a uh, hitch that allows for like a 360 degree movement. We also have the 7 pin connector that connects to our truck. And we also have an Anderson connector that connects directly to our um tow vehicle battery which then feeds onto our um, battery unit which we're going to talk about in a little bit and this here is a jerry can holder and instead of uh, bringing fuel we put our our drinking water uh, system right here so this is a lifesaver jerry can which allows us to put 4.5 gallons of uh, water like tap water we pump it up, we pressurize it, and then we can go ahead and drink that water from there. We also have a road shower up here. This road shower holds 10 gallons, most our utility water. However, if, our, if this water system runs out, we can always fill it with this. So technically, we can drink all the water that we carry. So on this side, we normally have a table on this side which has our sink situation and uh, we connect the road shower to that sink and that's where we get our, our water system. We installed these pod lights right here which essentially is our camp lights when we're out and out and about camping. Here are the switches for the top light. Uh, we'll switch this on. It's not turned on right now. I have a master switch that uh, cuts off all these, uh, these lights. Down here, we have um, changed the whole Humvee trailer hub to an electronic uh, braking system that's connected to our seven pin. So whenever we hit our brake from our vehicle, it's gonna also provide some braking on the trailer I have a video about that I'll share a link on the description there up here we put these these are toolboxes that nor normally go on the back of ATVs we have two of them that that fits perfectly on top of the fender well up here we have an OVS awning that's a 270 degree awning that that gives us shade down here when we're cooking uh or when we're doing um like dishes or what have you at camp now over here we have this is a 10 pound uh, propane canister so we have another table that goes on this side which we do all our cooking in on the tailgate we have three things we have the first aid kit over here we have the demos shovel and we have this overland gear guy uh, trash bag bringing it down in here we have a bed slide and hard mounted onto the bed slide is an arb elements cooler and this cooler is hardwired to our battery unit down there So if you look down here, come film it from down here. So this is the wiring for this ARB fridge. And so if you look at it, I have it on this uh, like track, wire track system that, that rolls. That way you don't accidentally cut the cable for your fridge. So notice also that there's a gap right here on this side. 
that's where we normally put our folded camp tables on each side and it fits perfectly right there on this side here uh, this is where we normally store our our chalk blocks our leveling kits um, our um, boot uh, safety boot that we uh, locking clamps onto the wheel that way if we we're gonna leave the trailer for an extended period of time we can lock the whole thing up over here is another one um, toolbox for the ATV and on this side what we have is a uh, uh, just a, an area with uh, these cargo nets these rubber cargo nets this is where we normally uh, store our camp chairs our uh, folding fire pit and whatever odds and ends small things that uh, don't fit anywhere else we just put it in bungee net it on top of that over there right here we have 40 millimeter ammo can for mark 19 ammo so it's just an ammo can we put another storage here we have a storage bag full of stuff that we keep here uh, for right now we keep all our lighting material all uh, extra batteries things like that on here and so this is our power unit right here it it holds a um, so there's like uh, USB connections here um, there's a couple of 12 volt connections there and solar connection over here and the master switch right there um, and this powers the whole unit basically all right let's go back to underneath the trailer real quick so under this trailer we have a spare tire uh, this is actually the a small size spare from my truck but we basically installed um, uh, the same uh, spare tire winch that goes on the back of Toyota Tacomas and installed it uh, onto the bed and then you winch it up with the same tools you would use from this hole here and that's basically how that one works so we carry two spare tires really when we're towing and the new addition to the newest addition we haven't even tested it yet is uh, we've recently changed uh, from our old tent which is right here the CVT Mount Denali tent which served us really well over several years um, love that tent uh, but we upgraded recently to this iCamper uh, 3.0 so the reason why we upgraded to this is so it's just faster breakdown and faster setup when we're at camp so we find ourselves going into uh, campsites just spending the night and then leaving the next day whenever we do that that becomes very tedious if you have to do a lot of things to to you know set up so this is kind of like low effort you can set it up in minutes and you can also break it down in minutes which is uh, a much better situation for us so um, oh uh, we also have this we also added this 12 volt connector right here so this will supply power to our lights up on the tent so when we open the tent we feed a 12 volt connector down here just let it hang and connect it and then now we have power up there um, other than that that's basically our simple uh, set up for our M1101 Humvee trailer.